USA Today's bureau, Washington bureau chief Susan Page is following the latest from Washington. And Susan, today German Chancellor Angela Merkel said Europe must take its fate into its own hands, warning that the UK and the US may not be reliable partners, warning a Western alliance is divided by Brexit and President Trump. Um, how should we interpret that statement on the heels of President Trump's visit to Europe? This is really quite extraordinary from the Chancellor of Germany, one of our closest allies uh, since the end of World War II. And for her to state so publicly that she has had a lack of, that she's lost some of her faith in the alliance with the United States is really, I think, uh, quite chilling. It's a sign that while the president reinforced ties with some countries on his, on his foreign trip, including Saudi Arabia, there may be damage done with our European allies who have been, of course, our, our closest friends in this modern world. So Susan, while the president was overseas, there seemed to be uh, essentially a steady drip of news back here in the United States. Reports now say the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, met with the Russian ambassador and talked about setting up a secret communication link between uh, Trump's transition team and the Kremlin. This brings the investigation, it would seem, directly into the president's inner circle and his family. Why is this so significant and how do you think this could impact the other investigations? Well, you know, the White House was so pleased to have nine days where the conversation was about something else while the president was on his foreign trip. But his, the first question shouted at him when he got back last night was about the, the allegations that Jared Kushner tried to arrange this back channel with Russia. Now, there's, there's some difference of opinion about how serious this is. Uh, we have some of the president's aides, uh, top aides, saying that it's not a matter of concern, that back channels have been established in the past. But there are others who say this is a very serious breach of the way things usually work. This wasn't by a new administration. This was by the administration before the inauguration, so somebody else was in the White House. And it was also the story in the Washington Post said that uh, Jared Kushner proposed using the secret Russian communication system to have this back channel, that is something really quite extraordinary. And I'm quite sure that the investigations we have going on at the FBI and on the Hill are going to be exploring this in more detail. And Susan, what do you think the likelihood is that Jared Kushner would ultimately testify? Well, I think it's entirely possible. Uh, he has indicated that he's willing to answer questions. Uh, it's certainly the, the members of Congress who are investigating these questions of ties between the Trump campaign and the Trump uh, and the Trump, Trump aides after the election, before the inauguration, I think are certainly going to be interested in exploring exactly what it was at stake here. And remember, this also invite, it involved General Michael Flynn, who was at this meeting with Jared Kushner and the Russian ambassador, and he is already quite, very much a target of these investigations. Uh, on another topic, Susan, President Trump says he'll make a decision about whether to leave the Paris Climate Agreement this week. What's the argument here for leaving the landmark deal? Give us a sense about why the president is so adamant about this. Well, the president was quite adamant about it during the campaign, that it was a bad deal, that it was limiting U.S. growth, especially in coal country, uh, this effort to, uh, to join in this international agreement, 195 nations, uh, to try to uh, reduce the human impact on the on the climate change in our climate uh, on planet Earth. So he said over and over again during the campaign he was going to do something about it. That is the argument for doing something about it. But he did hear from the Pope and from our Western European allies on his trip that they hoping that the United States will stay in this agreement. We'd be the first nation to pull out of it. And there's concern that if the United States leaves, other nations may follow. All right, Susan Page in Washington for us. Susan, always great to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Elaine.